Once upon a time, a yellow sun named Sol came to her nine planet daughters. This unusual family lived in a place called the Milky Way. Like any other large family, the children were different and had their own personalities. Mercury, the one closest to the sun, always appeared hot and bothered and not very friendly. Venus was more steamy and excitable. She always had a twinkle in her eye and was flirty by nature. Earth was prone to tantrums. She could raise a storm out of nothing, calm down just as quickly. Mars was a quiet one of the family. She was an attractive red planet, but rather bashful. Uranus, Neptune and Pluto were very cold and distant and didn't attract the same interest as Jupiter with her moons or Saturn with her rings and bangles. Also never allowed his daughters to wander off around the Milky Way, all of them having to orbit around their possessive parent day in and day out. One day, a flashy comet appeared to pass along their way, creating a stir among the sisters. This was by far the handsomest visitor they had ever seen. He had a magnificent tail that lit up the darkness of space. Mars was far too coy to respond when the flashy comet tried to woo her. Earth was in one of her tantrums so the comet thought it better not to hang around too long. Venus was one who really attracted him. Being a plant, she appeared up to him with a delightful little song. This prompted the charming prince to compose a poem. I came upon some maidens, each a pleasant sign, but none as bright as Venus the princess of the night. Such was his love for the little silvery planet that he went around the sun and politely asked for a hand in marriage. Old Saul was having none of it. The overpossessive parent flared up and sent the poor Commodore into outer space. Never fear, my pretty silver maiden, I shall return every 76 years. Perhaps your parent will get to know me better, and let me take you to the far corners of the Milky Way. The charming prince called out, flashing his tail and drawing sighs from little sisters before zooming away. Even then, all Saul had to pull with all his might when Pluto tried to follow the comet out of the solar system. Who would have doubt us, he sighed merely. They just seemed to attract all those roaming over 
That's all this is about technology. Because a few starry nights later, when I noticed a distant star trickling down at her, having her access done by such battery, the little blue planet went back at him. This went on for some time before all Saul got to hear about it. What's this about you in a distant star, he planned. I'll not have a daughter of mine flitting with any of those heavenly lights. I, I only twinkled at him, up at him because you're never around during the night. But what? You have your sister to twinkle at, so I reminded him, showing his annoyance by hissing out some gases. They sometimes hide away from me. Then there's only the distant stars for company. Earth pointed. What about the room I gave you? You mean that silly thing that whizzes around me? Why can't he even make up his mind what shape it is? No, I need someone exciting to spin around. Someone like the North Star. North said dreamily. Could I now leave home and all but round a lonesome son? She pleaded. What nonsense, child. So there. You just can't take off like that, you know. What about all those tiny creatures on your surface? They wouldn't survive such a journey. 